Now friends, I'm going to show you guys on how to make a stress guard at home, how to stitch your stress guard at home and also a small little top. So for my top, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my measurement around my chest. This is like 80, 86. As you can see, 86 I got here. And I also measure the length that I want, like so. Since I don't want mine to be too short, I'm going to keep like, uh, as you can see from here to here, this is for the margin, 24. So one thing I'm going to go ahead, I'll fold my fabric into two as I got here. So as I went ahead, I uh, drew, uh, measure my, round my chest. I'm just going to cut that up. This is the... So if you, my my measurement around my chest was a uh, six uh, was eighty eighty six. If I divide that into two, it's going to give me forty three. So just go ahead and measure forty three. While leaving uh, uh adding one centimeter for the stitching. So it's going to all together. We're going to give forty four. You mark your fabric up. And the length that I wanted was 20. So I'll just go ahead, mark 20 up. 20. I don't want it to be too short, and I want it to be too long. So I will add again one centimeter for the stitching. It will give me 21. Mark it down. We're going to cut it up. Since we have straight line here, we'll make it easy. This fabric is really good because I make sure that you matches the line. I'm just cutting this up. I make sure you have cut two of these lining and main fabric, okay? And get to the end, just cut that up. So since I already have one part here, I'm going to put again on top and cut the second piece for the lining because I will not be making, uh, I don't have a lining fabric. Just make sure the lines are matching. Since this is a stretchy fabric, it is always good for you to cut a little bit smaller than your chest measurement because since it's stretchy when you pull it up, it just will just fit you. So I already have two pieces for the uh, the top. So now we're going to go for the straps. And later on, go for the skirt. So let me just fold my fabric. So for a strap, it depends on how big your strap one or you want it to be. But for mine, I just want it to be four centimeter, so that when I fold it inside, it will give me actually two. Uh, for one centimeter each inside okay i'm cutting the two together and it also depends on how long you want it to be it depends on the size so this i got the two traps right here i'm just going to separate it because this is going to be I already got my two straps. So now let's move. Uh, let's go for the cutting of the skirt. So what I will do now. So what I went ahead, I did. I took one of my stress skirt that I made the other day. I'll just place it on top like this. Like since this is a uh, stretch fabric, it won't uh, we really have any problem stitching. While leaving this space, this other part here to be for the waistband. Just pull it again down. Go ahead, cut that up. And then, when I got here, one thing I'm going to do is go straight down like so. Remember, we are cutting this with also with one centimeter for the stitching. Okay. When I got to the end, I go again and then trim these other edges. 
Let's give it a stretch. Put that up. This is the most easy way for make you for you to make your the skirt without any pattern. Okay. So as I got here at the end, this is what I'm going to do. I just go ahead connect this line straight down. So I got two pieces of the skirt. Two pieces of the skirt. So now I don't want my skirt to be really straight downward. Um, because I want to design it. I don't want it to be straight. Uh, it's a straight skirt. But what we're going to do right now. I'm going to try like, to trim this up. Up as you can see. Put this together. Cut it like so. So, when you open it, you have something like this. It like a square, right? This is what we have here. So we we are going to cut the other part that will go for the round here. Okay. Okay. So for the other part of the skirt, we're just gonna help cut this straight downward. Remember, it's supposed to be a little bit bigger than the skirt because we are truly going to make it as a pleat gather it so it's supposed to be bigger than the skirt okay so we are done with the cutting let's move to the sewing machine so one thing we're going to do if you have a gather fold like this one I'll be using here you'll see it it will be good but if not you have to stop it stitch it like so as you go ahead the thing is gathering as you can see this is what i'm having right here as you stitch this and go ahead the gathering is actually making it up for you because i'm using a guard other foot As you go, it's really giving you the shape that you want. No need for you to like stitch and you start pulling it with your hand. This is really good. I bought it on uh, Amazon. So you just take it on Amazon. It's really good for you, for you at home to make gather. No need for you to do this. I pull this together as you can see. This is what it looks like. get to the end normally you're supposed to put this at uh, five so uh, let me just show you guys what how this gather foot look like this is it it's really really nice and good you can get a packet i uh, get i had uh, i bought how many let me say about 20 more than 24 uh, sewing machine feet in amazon and it was more than 24 euros so you can just get yours there and you have everything you need. You come with a uh, sewing with uh, a zipper fold, normal feet, uh, leather fold, and so many on and so many on. So, this are the zip, uh, the gather we did. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to turn my fabric. <coughs> See, this is a uh, like so. So you can see. The right side fetching each other. Let's just uh, this is for the skirt. I want the back side to be longer than the front side, so you're just gonna put some pins in, some few pins to hold it on. As I'm going, as I'm stitching and going, I make sure I put everything straight. Make sure you put your sewing uh, your stitches. 
adjust your stitches because normally when you're doing this gather you have to put it at five um back stitch whenever starting as i go i make sure i arrange it on top i sew on that line making sure as i get to the end i just like putting it and arranging it put it where i want it to be remember this is just a simple skirt and a short top we'll be making today okay As we get to this page that is like a square like a triangle put your put down your sewing machine feet adjust it make sure you sew it where you want it to be If you can stitch really along the line for the gathering, it's not a big deal. But try your possible means to always stitch on that line so that it will not uh, you will not be able to remove the other thread you so, so so as I get to the end, I'll be getting to the end very soon. As you get to the end, make sure you back stitch. So this is what it looks like, guys. The front part of the skirt. This is the back side of the skirt because I want it to be a little bit longer than the. This is what it looks like. It's really super cute. I uh, just go ahead. Let's go. I already did the front side so now what we're going to do we're going to take it the uh the both side put it like so stitch it up i'll just do that off camera then i come back and show you guys on how to put the waist so as i i went ahead and stitched the skirt this is what it looked like as you can see it's really good it was a nice design the front is uh, shorter than the back as i wanted this is it so now we're going to be going to attach the the waist remember it's always this is a stretchy fabric so let's just move over to the waist so this is my waist right here as you can see one thing uh, the first thing we're going to do we're going to uh, stitch it like so when you're done stitching it i just move the sewing machine stitch that together Remember, whenever starting, back stitch. When I get to the end, make sure back stitch and I put the thread. When you are done, this will look like. So we're just going to attach the waist now to the skirt. We're going to fold it like so. the two like this normally you uh, will look for the center of the skirt start attaching it from there so like so grab it like so put it this put some pins and pin that up okay As you go, you pin that round up. After this, I'll go to my zigzag machine, zigzag this raw edges here that I don't want. Because I have to change the thread into wide long process. 
put that inside. Remember always to cut your thread, don't be like me. Pin it up, pinning it as you pin, you pin. Up. So I pinned the waist round, as you can see. We're just gonna head stitch that up, but we'll do this letter. Let's go to the top. So these are the two pieces of the top that we cut. We're just gonna take it like this while matching this, the designs. Make sure the design matches. Uh, pin it, and we're going to sew straight downward. Do the same thing with this side, and stitch, sew, and come back and show you guys. So here is the top, and as I saw it before, one thing I want to tell you guys is like you're going to measure the center where you want your straps to be. I just went ahead and stitched my straps so when I turn it, it's going to look like something like so. And put your lining, the right side of your lining facing the wrong side of your main fabric. I'll go ahead, stitch this just one side. Then when I turn the top around, then I'll check. The other side you see like I'm trying to put it as possible as I can to the side so that it won't be in the middle okay like so so I got my two straps put on right so and i'm just gonna take my lining piece on it this is my lining i put it like so and i'm going to stitch here so you can see it. what we're going to do right now we're going to stitch round while leaving this side open okay because later on we'll be able to turn that around or one thing you could do or you go I had just stitch like so, like so, and like so. Why leaving like a two centimeter here that you'll be able to turn it around, okay? So as you, when you're done stitching the both side, as I said, these two side, while leaving the upper part open, this is what we're going to do. You're gonna grab your fabric like so, your top like so, the right side facing each other. Look at what I'm doing. These are the right side. I'm putting the seams together. Then I'll send my hand inside like so. I turn it inside. Then I'll put a few pins to secure it. I'm just checking. I left a pin inside just to secure the handle, but I will remove it. So that when I'm turning it, it will not be a problem to me. I put the both seams together, fitting each other. And now we're going to stitch round. We want to stitch like so while leaving like a, a two centimeter so that we'll be able to turn the side. Or what you can just do, you can open here a little bit, two centimeter, if you don't want it at the side. So that will be able to turn that around. So we're going to head stitch this up and let's see how we look like at the end. Make sure you always back stitch whenever you're starting one centimeter away from the same. Take time. And stitch your top well done and when I'm done with this what I'm going to do I'm just gonna iron it and 
remember I said leave two centimeter so that you will be able to turn it around okay if not you will not be able to turn your top around when I get almost done I leave two centimeter so that I'll be able to turn the top and this when you are done turning the top you just go ahead stitch that two centimeter with hand stitching this is the small who I left let me just turn that around show you guys see <laughs> we almost done turning it this is always my best part of it so this is the top like so Look like something like this let me just go ahead iron it and so this small part is going to go for the inside since we made the lining and the fabric is almost the same it's not going to be any problem that this is the top and we'll just attach the handle to it measure your bra you can take anything of your bra measure it then we we'll stitch it inside and I will stitch that off camera, then I iron it and I put on everything and show you guys the finished look of this. So guys, here's the finished look of the skirt. As you can see the behind is longer than the front. I really love it. It's so super cute and I hope that you guys love it. Please do not forget to like, subscribe and also share. If you appreciate you see my next project, 